as you can see, Tally Hoke has been disgraced and disqualified, and John Naylor unfortunately cannot continue. So we can, of course, go into the grand final of the knockout tournament to find the kingpin here this evening. And it is over 30 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, six five-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. In the red corner, the mean machine, Mark Rocco. And in the opposite corner, from London, Steve Gray. So, straight into the grand final for this uh, King of the Ring tournament, knockout tournament, because unfortunately John Naylor unable to continue wrestling at all this afternoon. He's uh, damaged his knee, which is already giving him trouble before this, and therefore unable to wrestle. Leaving Mark Rocco and Steve Gray, the two finalists, and here they are. Six five-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide this winner. And Rocco, of course, a cup almost two stone heavier than Steve Gray. Yeah! But both men equally determined to get that wonderful silver trophy that we saw earlier on. And we'll no doubt see again at the end of this bout when it's presented to one of these fellows. Rocco at 13 stone 4, a heavy middleweight, in fact the former heavy middleweight champion of Great Britain against the lightweight champion of Great Britain, who oh, was three, three brackets up, three weight divisions up. Welter and middleweight between them. <laughs> oh, very unfortunate for John Naylor though, bad luck, he's really after that trophy here today. One. His chance is spoilt by a foul move by Peter Kay when he was caught the top rope there. <laughs> really interesting to see in this catchweight bout, which it is now, of course. How Gray gives away almost too strong against this very fast heavy middleweight. Both men of speed, agility, but uh, Mark Rocker with such a weight advantage is going to be tricky for Gray here. Gray very quickly out of that. the ropes right under that headbutt. Weakening up process Rocco going through now. Control, slam, back weakness most of the time. Reverse double knee hold his arm. Just under two minutes left in this first round of six. course most anxious apart from this trophy here this afternoon most anxious to get that heavy middleweight belt back that he lost to Marty Jones I, I don't think it'll be too long before he'll have his chance because in November Max Crabtree the matchmaker for joint promotions is has got a, 
an open tournament for that heavy really weight title for the vacant title. If Marty Jones is forced to give it up through weight, and I think he will be. So Mark Roth will be one of them, that's for sure. Bert Royal another. I don't know who the other fellows will be left in the tournament by then. Five seconds. So that full Nelson coming to nothing by Rocco. And Steve Gray's corner, Steve Gray from Peckham, South East London of course, 10 stone 7, a man who teaches handicraft to special carpentry to the old people, the old aid pensioners and handicapped old people generally. There's a wonderful job this man in his spare time. Very, very popular lightweight champion of Great Britain. But he's got a heck of a job on here today against the heavier Mark Rocco. Stronger and heavier, Gray can only rely on his skill and speed, of which Rocking is battering then, but he's he quite happy about the board. They want to try and Rock will really go for those back weakness at every opportunity now. Tackle Gray, but hasn't got the weight surely. A pile driver by Rocco. Now, then, that pile driver by Mark Rocco could be real trouble for Gray. They really weakened him now. Another one. Holding him down with an easy reverse double knee hold. And the first fall quite easily to Rocco in just one minute, 13 seconds of run two. Red Downs for MC. In the second round, first point by Mark Rocco. So Gray in a bit of trouble there, but Rocco quite happy with the leading his uh, by his, that first fall he gained there. A couple of pile drivers and following it down quite easily with that reverse double knee hold on the prostrate man on the deck. Second way, round three. Gray will have to go because there goes the bell to start round three. Four rounds to go. Rocco and the, the full gear of the white boots there, of course. His usual gear, stars down the side, leading by one fall. And really going in now with more weakness. Spec will concentrate mostly on the back. Giving Gray little chance with his lack of weight. Here. But knowing Steve Gray, he certainly won't give up. He'll take anything to keep alive that chance of that trophy. Uh, unnecessary. A public warning for that. And quite right, too. Quite Ladies unnecessary. Ladies and gentlemen, first public warning, Mark Rocco. He's doing quite well enough without that, resorting to the tricks like that. Steve Gray in real trouble. Especially with that hair. That's fresh. Gray trying to climb over the top. If he can get over the top, he'll be alright. And the drop. Beautiful lead by drop that from it. And it's Gray going for the hair. Retaliation. Steve Gray does to retaliate the better of too low with that one. Let's go for the eye, you're on the 
throw it another pile driver, no, Slayer this time. Reverse double knee holds, is how he got the first fall. Cross press. No, Gray just won't give, not on the second one. He was severely weakened by the pile drivers in the first one, but this time he was there. Drop it now to Rocco. Very dangerous hole. Could Gray get out of this one? Yes. Oh! She caught him on the way. Beautiful. That left leg. Two minutes to go in round three. And as expected, turning out to be the best fight of the afternoon. Because Gray, although giving away this weight, is so quick. Cross press attempt again, Rocker. Out of two first time. One two. One it nicely. Was it? No, four arms is the right. And still Mark Rocco persisting with his back movements. Another posting there. Inside of the forearm in the back. All legal as well as his man is on his feet. A minute to go now, another posting. And Rocco almost a suplex there, but onto the back. The pressure on the back again, the back breaker on his left shot. Gray slide down, he can. And took the throw beautifully on the back shot. A little more anxious now with 30 seconds to go. Not quite so confident anymore. And the crowd here hoping that Gray can come back a little later. He's got a single leg Boston on. No, he's not going for it. He's got eight seconds only. It's too late with him. It's too late with a hold. The circle won't work. The bell will save him. Bad luck on Steve Gray, all that effort to get the surfboard all set up. And the bell goes just as he gets there. Very unlucky. Now he's complaining about, he was dead lucky, the bell saved him. Halfway through the bout now, round four coming up, and Rocco not quite so confident anymore, though still leading by that one fall he gained in the second. Second away, round four. Now, can Gray continue with his comeback? So nearly had that surfboard on, he could have had a submission from it. At least he was hoping so. Along with most of the crowd here. Then the double arm from the top. More back trouble. Rocco trying to close. Fred Gray just a little bit too light for this guy. Despite his skill and speed. Staying away a bit now. Certainly not happy with the situation. Try to go on this time. Oh, 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 yes, beautiful. Great game. Takes over your fist. Not the top rope. And all that cross, 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 cross. Can he hold it? Yes, he can. Here 
equalizer in the fourth. And it just took him one minute, 51 seconds to equalize. Steve Gray, wonderful effort. Great efforts. Well, now there's two, uh, two rounds to go, and the improbable could happen here. Great could give away nearly too strong and come out the winner here. Six away, round five. Nearly three star, I beg your pardon. Nearly three star, 10 seven to 13 four. Just three pounds out of three star. Can Gray do it? One public warning against Rocco, score one each. <laughs> So the final public warning for him. That much the fourth no. twice. Gray retaliating on the leg, very neutral indeed. Causing trouble with Rocco's left leg. Fine tackle. Posting, it's a loose one. I think Gray more or less taking a little breather now rather than being with two more. Now another crutch on slam on the top rope. Rocco trying every trick in the box, but both illegal and legal. Oh no, too obvious, far too obvious. Gray saw that coming a mile. But still Rocco going for a single leg boss and getting some media submission from it and that's it so in one minute 17 seconds of round five Rocco the winner by one fall and one submission to Gray's one fall 2-1 win then for Rocco from Manchester and Fred Downs to make the announcement and presentation of the knockout trophy the king of the ring knockout trophy but what a great final it was, and what a tremendous show Gray, the lightweight, put up against the heavier and very, very skillful Manchester man, Rock. Ladies and gentlemen, it is here by declared that Mark Rockford is free of the ring. That's it. Over the fall, come on. That's it. That's the champion. Come on, Susan. So with no hand really asked for, therefore, Steve Gray, who put up such a valiant effort. Here's the winner of the King of the Ring knockout trophy, therefore the present King of the Ring in this weight bracket anyway. And we hope you've enjoyed this special, rather unusual uh, wrestling show from Elmbridge Leisure Centre. It's Walton saying goodbye to Walton. Have a good week. Until next week.